Lovely. Yay! Yeah, oh. Such a fantastic song. <sighs> I feel better already. Yeah, me too. With all of the weird stresses we've been having this morning, I feel better. Yeah, that really lifted me up. Mm-hmm. It was, it was, uh, that's a good change your mood song. It's so, <laughs> like... What's the words I'm looking for? Like... I don't know. I can't find the right words. <laughs> words can't describe the song. <laughs> Even though that's what words do. <laughs> so, <laughs> welcome to our music and talk podcast. Yay! We are we are shutting down when our brain meets from heat. Yeah, um, kind of are. I worried this <laughs> this would be a, a rough one. Whew, it's okay for, for we're gonna, thinking thoughts. We're for thinking. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Yeah, uh, I do have some uh, history context for Jonathan Richmond. That I really like. Oh yeah. Which is he kind of showed up at the time at a, a time he was like kind of second generation punk that uh like punk was still viewed as like scary angry guys on stage that might bleed and smash shit and spit on you, and Jonathan Richmond kind of came along and went like okay well here's everything else that this music could be with like the same kind of aesthetic where we just kind of get up and play our instruments whether we know how to play them very well or not and mm-hmm. like it's all for him it's all about song structure and it's all about like feelings and vibes and like none of that like kind of ham-fisted aggression that was sort of associated with punk. yeah like pretty much all of Jonathan Richmond's music has that same kind of tone that yeah, like. Yeah. It's it's happy. It's quirky. It's not necess- It doesn't necessarily like. It's not necessarily pretty. Yeah. It's uh, it's just yeah, kind of thrown out there. Like, and his voice is is so unique, which I absolutely was, which is what drew me to him in the first place. Yeah. yeah. I don't know, but what I, something about this song, it's like it's not offensive. Hmm. And it's, but it's not incidental that he's having such a good time in the lesbian bar. <laughs> right. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. But it's not, I, it's, it's not, I don't find it offensive in the slightest. Mm. Like, it's like everyone else sucks. Yeah. I gotta hang out with lesbians <laughs> because that's the only place where I can have a good time. Yep. No, I, I can't I mean, say it's wrong. Uh, yeah, it was, It kind of struck me as like it's a song about finding your people, even if they're yeah. not who you would first assume yeah, would the, be your crowd. Yeah. It's <laughs> yeah. like, I gotta, I gotta go to a place where I can be myself. Yeah. That's the lesbian bar. <laughs> sure enough. Makes, it makes sense. Jonathan Richman, <laughs> raging lesbian. Yeah. I love it. But yeah, and it's, it, I don't know, it's it's a very it's a very inviting song. It is, yeah. It's inviting. Yeah, it's a that's come on, come on kind of thing. There's a words for describing. There you go. <laughs> Inviting. <laughs> so, uh, shout out! I really enjoy the uh, JHS show, which is a, a pedal company. And whenever they have a like kind of weird little flub, the, there's a little uh, like screen that comes up, sort of sort of reading rainbow style, and goes, "Words is hard." And I probably owe royalties now, but that keeps popping in my head every time we like kind of stutter out. Yep, that's a that was, that was I, I quoted a comic. They're like, "Ah, oh, words can't describe it," and yeah. the other person in the comic goes, "Really." It's kind of what words do. Are you a writer? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, I don't remember which comic that is, but yeah. All right. uh, so speaking of writers, if uh, if this is a good place to transition, sure. Uh, Reggie Watts is the like three kinds of genius. You picked I don't a Reggie Watts song. Understand? Oh yes. <gasps> I love Reggie Watts. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> and checkbox other. Baby. This is Reggie Watts. Fuck shit stack. <laughs> I do love Reggie Watts. 